All right, boys, we have our top 10 safeties today, and this is one of the harder ones I think I've had to make. It's a very top-heavy list, and it's kind of one of the weaker positions. We have a lot of 95 speed guys still in the game. We're starting to get 97s. We have all 96s right now, so it's definitely a weak position in the game, but it's definitely one that has a lot of guys in the top tier that are very good right now. But if you guys enjoy top 10s like this, make sure that like, hit that sub. We're on the road to 30K. We did just hit that 25K marker. And also, I do stream on Twitch every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern, so to make, make sure to come say what's up over there, and let's get right into our number one honorable mention and then our top 10. Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, muttpacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. An honorable mention, we have CJ Gardner Johnson. And this is just, like I said, it, this just shows how good this list is. The only, like, there's really not much of a negative here. Like I said, it's kind of crazy to say that 95 speed is like average for a, for a safety. But like I said, it's a weak position in the game right now. So 95 speed is considered like okay right now but we are getting some 96s there at that position finally but he does come with 97 excel he has amazing play rec and i think that's a big deal why you're seeing this card a lot and also the eagle theme team is one of the best right now obviously if you're using an eagle theme team this guy is going to be like elite elite but when you look at him he does come with amazing man amazing zone the play rec there's really not much negatives about this card i just think i would take the other guys a little bit above him he is one of the shorter guys that would be on this list as well and his abilities are okay he does get that pick artist i think he gets a zone ko i think it's deep out zone ko as well he's a solid card all around but like i said there's just it's very close you could probably move him up if you really wanted to but he's an honorable mention for today number 10 we do have ted hendricks and this is probably one of the hardest cards to grade because i think as a user he is one of the best users in the game but as anything else i think he is almost unplayable if that makes sense that's why i kind of threw him in the list i felt like i had to have him in the list but i didn't know where to throw him because of that like i said as a user he's elite he's probably a top Four, top three elite user in the game right now because of his height and if you have good user play you can negate a lot of that slower turning and stuff he's gonna make a lot of plays i've even seen people use three ap acro i know that's an absolute waste of ap but it has picked me off before because i just didn't you never see acro out there when it's on a six foot seven guy it makes plays but as a non-user 71 man coverage terrible and even in zone i know he has good player i know he has good zone on his card but he does kind of turn a little bit not as well, he doesn't turn nearly as good as any of the cards in the game because how big he is. That's why I feel like as a user, you can kind of negate for a lot of those negatives right there and make a lot of plays. He'll pick off balls that no other card in the game can pick off. He's a beast, and he's good in the run game as well. Ted Hendricks, like I said, if you're using him, one of the best in the game. If you're not, don't even have him on your team. That's what. That's just literally what I'm going to say right there. And his abilities aren't the best either. You're really just here to use this card. That's it. Number nine, I have Bo Jackson. And Bo Jackson is one that I feel very, I don't know how, I don't know how to feel about him, right? He's 95 speed. He doesn't have the best Excel in the world, especially like I said, 95 speed is definitely kind of on the average side right now. Every single wide receiver in the game, every single wide receiver in the game is 96 speed or 97 on the Legends theme team or Tyree Kill. That's already 97. So 95 at the safety is kind of weak right now. But he also, the one negative I noticed on him is that play rack, and I've definitely noticed it a lot. You could use him, like I said, all the time with Ted Hendricks, negating a lot of those stats is just usering cards. But Bo Jackson, I do think there's a lot better user in the game, so I think he's one that you'd probably want to not use her. He does come with 92 man and 97 zone, though, to kind of help that uh, low play rack. He also does get solid abilities. He gets free pick artists and also deep out zone KO for one AP, which is a good ability in the game. I know he gets deep KO, uh, the man one as well, if you wanted that, but you would have to take off the pick artist, which is definitely a negative. All around a solid card, though. He does play really well in the box. I know he doesn't have the craziest block today. 88 is pretty solid, but we're getting a lot of 90s in the game. But I do like him a lot. I don't know if it's just because of his build. He plays really well against the run. Bo Jackson definitely is like one of those cards that I feel like we're all really nostalgic to. I just want his running back card in the game. So this card's kind of holding me in place until then. And number eight, this one might surprise a lot of you, but we do have Von Bell. And you guys can see Von Bell, another guy that's newer. They've been giving all of the safeties 95 speed, even the newer ones. Von Bell came out like a week ago, I think it was. Maybe it was a little bit longer than a week ago, but he's a solid card in the game. 95 speed, 96 Excel. Very solid, right, for the safety position. He does have 91 play arc, which we love to see as well. And then also the man in zone. But the reason why I have him higher, because he looks just like CJ Gardner Johnson, right? A lot of people are probably saying that right now. This guy gets amazing abilities. He gets very, very good abilities. In the one slot, he gets his free pick ours for zero AP, which we absolutely love to see. But in his other discounted slot, he gets the choice of either secure tackler, which if you guys do not know, is the counter to Derrick Henry and Quadfather. So it's a very meta ability in the game right now. So you can throw him in the box with that. Or you can run him 
up top with the one AP deep out zone KO. So either of those abilities, both super meta in the game, and also you can match up the zero AP pick artist. He had to be here. This guy is very good in the box. He's very good up top, wherever you want to use him. And you guys can see, I don't know why they do this, but they, do, they don't treat the current players as nicely. I feel like none of the current players have really good block shit besides like Jamal Adams in the game right now. So it really does suck at the end of the day because I feel like Von Bell should be one that's pretty solid in the box. But nonetheless, he does have a really good tackling ability and definitely has to be on the field if you're running any sort of Bengals team, team, Saints team, team. This dude's a beast. So at that number seven spot, we do have Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. And if you guys have watched any of the videos over the like the last week, I was using this card for a while there. And he is actually a lot better than I thought. Obviously, when you look at him statistically, he looks like a top three card in the game statistically right he's one of the only guys like i said safety is a very slow and behind position in the game right now and he's one of the few guys that gets that 96 speed 96 excel right there but he is five foot nine normally i'm okay with smaller guys if you get good abilities and good stats but he's like extra extra small you know what i mean like we're getting 511s okay and like von bell and cj gardner but 59 is very small but i do love his abilities he has a uh, zero ap pick artist and he also gets that secure tackler and i did use him in the box and that's where i think he is the best at because of that you can't and swerve through a lot of those uh big linemen as well because he is a little bit smaller and he'll make all the tackles on Derrick Henry and Quadfather because of that ability and honestly this card look at him 92 play rack 97 zone you can play him up top as well with his KOs he's good everywhere and like I said 88 block shit's not that bad for him but with the current players being like 96 if this was a legend card he'd have like 95 block shed but Honey Badger's definitely a beast in this game it just looks like a lot of people do get a little shy between that height but with good abilities it can make up for it all right so at number six I'm going to put Derwin James. Normally, you guys know I don't put non-auctionable cards, but this is one that everybody basically has. I've seen him everywhere. It was free to get. You guys all know if you watch the MCS streams, he was free. So I felt like I had to include him and just don't mind the... I have the gold in the zone strat card, so I had to go into my binder to see this card. Obviously, he's not in the auction to view him. But 95 speed on him, like I said, not the best in the world, but he does have some good height right there at six foot two. One of the taller guys, actually the tallest guy besides Ted Hendricks that we've seen yet on this list. He has really solid man and press and zone. All very good. He has 95 zone normally. He has 92 man and all also, normally he has a 92 play rec, which is very good. Very good in the box as well. And then when you come down here, like I said, the current players have no sort of block shit. I don't know why they... I feel like they want us to use the legend players at the end of the day. But he also has good abilities too. You get that zero AP pick artist right here. And then in the last slot, you do get that deep out zone KO as well. Derwin James is definitely one of the cards that always balls year in and year out. And for free, he's very good. Definitely a top six, seven safety in the game. And you got him for free. At number five, I feel like no matter how hard we try to get Julius Peppers away from our teams and off of our fields, he is just so good in the game right now. 94 speed. He is the slowest guy on the list, him and Ted Hendricks, obviously. But he is another guy that is six foot seven. But the way I look at him is he's one of those guys that you probably want to have in the box. Although he's not bad up top because he does have really good play rec. Once you have like, if you have the purple in the zone track card or the gold one, which are very cheap and quick sell value right now, you can basically get that up to a 90. So he plays really well up top as well. He does get that deep out zone KO and then he also gets free pick artists and when you can get a guy that is also huge you can play him in the box he'll make a lot of plays I think he's just basically a good ability Ted Hendricks and also he does have better stats he has way better man coverage he has his play rec a lot easier to achieve that now well Ted Hendricks has 90 play rec I don't know what I'm talking about there but Julius Peppers basically is more polished version and a better ability version of Ted Hendricks and we all know this dude is an absolute animal no matter where you put him on the field at number four, we do have Jamal Adams. And Jamal Adams, obviously known as Prez. This guy was number one the last time we've done this list. We've got a couple really, really juice uh, safeties. And also, I didn't do this list as often as I usually do. But 95 speed on him, 94 excel. Like I said, that's about as mid as it gets, but that's the safety position right now. It's really hard to guard. I mean, uh, compare him to other positions like the corners are loaded. Like I said, safeties are definitely behind. But when you look at him, he does have 93 play rack. He has that 90 pursuit, 90 man coverage, which is really good for Jamal. I feel like they normally don't give him the best man. He has zone as well, which is amazing, easily achievable to get 99 right there. The hit power is absurd. And he is one of the, like I said, one of the few current players that has really good block shed to kind of match his overall. He has 94 block shed right there, which is absolutely amazing and he gets amazing abilities i know his uh, his pick artist one of the few guys on this list his pick artist is one ap which 
definitely does stink in the game but he does get every single zone ko literally everyone he gets deep out zone ko he gets deep in mid zone and flat zone for one ap you have to choose obviously which one you want and he also does have his x factor you guys have seen on many of my video gameplay videos he's taken over the show on the defense and his if you can get one fumble that x factor the avalanche x factor it can literally win you a game and he can have it on for basically 50 percent of the game and if you can get that one fumble he'll absolutely win you a game this card is a beast in the game great in the run game definitely a guy you want to have in the box I, I love this car man he did just leave my team though because of the legend team team purposes but he is an animal number three we have ed reed and like i said i do have to go to my binder to view this card right here but ed reed another guy that is free just like derwin james you have two free cards in the top 10 so the no money spent guys are absolutely rejoicing i already know it 96 speed on him base though obviously i'm in the legend steam team he has 94 excel which is solid it, obviously the 96 speed is which we like to see it's like i said it's crazy how many how, how few there are at the safety position that have 96 speed he has really good player arc as well at a normal 95 he has amazing uh, man coverage at 96 and he has a 98 zone base and a 95 hit power. He also, I think he's decent in the box. Yeah, 91 block shed is actually a lot higher normally than what they give uh, Ed Reed. I know a lot of people look at that tackling at 96. All right, 76 right there. It's not the best, but you're probably going to have Ed Reed up top anyways. He's not a guy you want to bring into the box so much. But Ed Reed... His abilities are okay. I'm definitely overspending right now, but he does get that pick artist for free, which I definitely, I'm not the biggest fan of film study. I feel like most people, you could kind of tell what they're running anyways. And I just, and by the time it activates, you're like deep in the game. You know, your opponent's running at the end of the day. You could use acro, but pick artist is really king this year. And then in his last slot, deep in zone KO is probably the worst one in the game. You have to have him in the mid zone KO. And if, if you got to be in like a cover three or put him in that deep in every time, it's not the best in the world. It definitely is not. And then also medium route KO. We want to see like deep right there or a, at least like a short mid is okay though. I guess it's not the worst, but pick artist right here. And then I'll obviously I'm, I'm overpaying. I mean, two AP is not the worst, but for two AP combo, it's not the best in the world. Ed Reed though, definitely top three safety in the game. Great coverage guy great guy you want to have up top number two i have probably the ultimate user in the game he gets amazing abilities for inside the box i know he doesn't get that secure tackler which we like to see but brian dawkins right here he does get one ap pick artist you can get that mid zone ko which even on a user it still does light up if you're in a zone and also he gets free crusher as well i did force a fumble in my video yesterday with rob gronkowski with brian dawkins with crusher it was it was actually an awesome play but right here 96 speed is solid i know that excel is kind of brutal right Right there at 93 that's one of the lower ones actually on the list but i haven't really noticed it to affect him too much he's been great in the box for me and also when i've used him in previous times even up top he hasn't felt like too slow with the excel he does have amazing pursuit as well maybe that's what kind of helps that excel being lo lo lower right there but 91 play rack as well 90 man coverage 96 zone and then when you come down here 95 block shed which is absurd he is one of the better cards i've used all year i know a lot of people this is a big fan favorite in the game as well so a great hit are great or i would say okay abilities i think the pick artist being free would definitely make this card a lot better but definitely brian dawkins seems to be one that always plays a little bit better than his stats this dude's a beast in madden every single year number one i had to put ronnie harrison i really do feel like he is the best safety and i do like him a lot more than brian dawkins you'll notice he is taller than brian dawkins they're the same speed but you're also getting plus four excel right there he has 96 play rec which is absurd so you could play him this guy you could play in the box you could play at corner you could play up top you could play him anywhere where he has amazing play rack the man is amazing the zone's amazing the hit power is amazing and he also does have only 87 block shed but i've been using him in the box and he's played a lot better than 87 block shed i'm gonna be completely honest he's played a lot better than that for me but his abilities are amazing you get free pick artists you get tackle supreme as well for one ap and then being a 97 overall you get another discount too you can get the deep route ko flat zone or the medium ko so he gets good at man abilities he gets good at zone abilities and he also gets that tackle supreme or that free pick artist he's amazing boys this dude has great abilities he's one of the faster cards in the game at 96 and also the excel right there at 97 is amazing for a guy with that speed and he has great man zone and also just hitting stats all around he's definitely the number one lock today all right boys i'm gonna be completely honest i literally recorded this video after this card came out or before this card came out so now i'm in a little kind of a tough situation here so i'm gonna put this at the end of it 
And also, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say I think he is number two. I'll show you his abilities right here. But Harrison Smith is actually amazing in the game. 96. Actually, honestly, I might even throw him at number one. I know it's a little tough because he doesn't go in the legend same team. But 96 speed, 94 excel. I know it's not the 97 like Rodney. But he has amazing stats. The player is good. The man's good. The zone's good. We know he's going to have 90 plus. Uh, he's going to 100% have 90 plus in the box stats at block shed as well. But when you look at his abilities as well, you can get deep in and deep out zone. KO. You get that pick artist for free. And you guys know at 97, you get three discounts. So it looks like you're going to get an enforcer or a crusher for free as well. This guy is going to be an animal in the game. I love his abilities. He's going to be amazing in the box. And also, you guys get that secure tackler. The dream setup would be was would be crusher, secure tackler, and also pick artist, all for a total of one AP. That would be the absolute biggest blessing ever. I don't know if that will be a thing because he's not out yet. But Harrison Smith, boys. I, I, he's either one or two for me. I, I had to edit this in post, but I completely forgot that they added this card into the game. Boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which safeties are you rocking right now in the game. I think the safety position, like I said, definitely a lackluster one and a top heavy one. Hopefully we can get some juice to cards here in the future, man. I, I, I Just looking at the corner, looking at the wide receiver, it's definitely one of the more outmatched spots in the game. But like I said, hope you guys enjoy. We're on the road to 30K now, so make sure that I like, hit that sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.